What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? And today, we're back with an episode of Spicy Sports Bets, to be exact. Uh, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail. Um, tonight is UFC 257, and uh, there's a couple good fights for the main and co-main event, and I figured... Well, like I said previously in other videos, if you've been following along, the remainder of the Chili Cherry Nightmare will be used for sports betting. So I figured tonight would be a good night to use some of that Chili Cherry Nightmare, or at least put it on the line. So UFC 257, uh, the main and co-main event, I think are bet worthy. So I got two different bets for you guys, and I think that uh, you'll enjoy what I've got planned if things go bad for me. So uh, before we get started, though, uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, which is over here. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you comment. I love talking to everybody. I respond to every comment. Share the video if you like to. And uh, yeah, just keep following along. We do crazy things. And we have fun here. So yeah, tonight's the big night. Uh, we have Michael Chandler. He's joining the UFC for the first time. He's fighting Dan Hooker. Should be an interesting fight. We're going to see what he's made of. We're going to see if he belongs in the UFC. Um, and Dan Hooker is kind of a good gateway guy to see where he's going to go, you know, from that point. So, um, you know, I think it should be an interesting fight. I'm not sure what to expect totally. I think Chandler should win. Um, but you never know. So, um, for fun, I'm going to pick this fight. I, I more want to just enjoy the fight, but, uh, you know, I'll put something on the line. So if you didn't see the video last week, make sure you check it out. There'll be a link at the end of the video. Um, I drank 15 year old apple juice <laughs> and, uh, it was a weird color. It looked like Coca-Cola. And by the way, the apple juice had no ill effects. I did not shit my pants. Whoops. Or, um, you know, have anything other than maybe some bad farts for a couple of hours, but, um, yeah, it wasn't that bad. So yeah, if you were wondering, nothing bad happened, but yeah, I have two boxes left. So I'll bet uh, a box at least. Maybe I'll chug two, depending how bad the fight goes. But I'll, I'll chug a box of that 15-year-old apple juice if Chandler loses. And uh, for the main event, McGregor versus Poirier, um, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. The last fight was, I think, seven or eight years ago. Um, they were a lot younger. McGregor was crazier. He was more intimidating. His intimidation tactics then were new and worked on everybody. Um... You know, he got in people's heads and mentally won the fight before it even started. Um, he was vicious. He was surprising. Now he's had, you know, a couple fights in four years. He hasn't really done anything. Khabib owned him. Uh, he beat a really washed up looking cowboy really easily. The fight wasn't really a judge of anything. Um, you know, other than that, he hasn't really done anything since 2015. So... Uh, or you know, 2016, I guess. It was late 2016 when he won the lightweight title. He never defended it. He's never defended any title. Poirier, you know, held an interim title. He lost it to Khabib. Um, I think Poirier's been way more active in the last four years than McGregor. Uh, and, and Poirier's obviously shown a lot of growth to have won that interim title, obviously. Uh, but, you know, he lost it rather easily to Khabib. So, um... You know, it's hard to pick this fight because I think McGregor's best game is stand-up. And even if he's been inactive, his hands are still dangerous to a lot of guys, especially a light uh, featherweight. Um, but uh, featherweight? Yeah, I think it's featherweight. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm getting confused here. So, but yeah, this fight's at lightweight. So... You know, Poirier is a better fighter at lightweight than he is in one class down. And uh, I think his chin's a little better. Um, he's very durable at this weight. You know, there's a lot of things go Poirier's way if this fight goes longer than two rounds. But McGregor does look like he's in way better shape than he has been in the past at these weight classes, 155, 145. He looked drained in both those before, and that's why he was hanging at 170 for the last few. Um I think he was lazy, didn't want to come down, but he looked really drained and like death, and he doesn't look like didn't look like that for this fight at the weigh-ins yesterday. So that's interesting too. He does look like he's in a legit better 155 shape. 
So that could play a role in the fight too. But, you know, based on history, no matter what he does, he seems to have a limited gas tank if he goes for it. And uh, Poirier should know that and should have a game plan to deal with that, to extend the fight as long as he can to give himself a better chance to win. Because if it goes too long, that's when McGregor becomes less dangerous and that's when he becomes open to return attacks and, and submissions and everything else. So I think Poirier has improved a lot since they first fought. And I think he's improved a lot in the last while. And I think since losing the championship, he's got a lot to prove still. So I'm going to put one chunk of that chili, chocolate chili, uh, chili chocolate nightmare chocolate bar. I'm going to bet one chunk of that on Dustin Poirier beating Conor McGregor tonight, even though I think it's going to be a close fight and I can see, you know, easy pass to both winning. You know, if it's a stand-up fight from the start, Poirier will probably make a mistake taking that approach. And I think if it's a stand-up fight and he gets caught, he could go down, especially in the first round. So that would be a bad thing. But if Poirier comes out with a smart plan, wrestles, tries to drain his energy, then I think Poirier has a better chance. And of course, the longer the fight goes, the better Poirier has chance. So I think he's going to be smart and try to play, fight this smart. I think he wants to win. I think he looks confident. And I don't think McGregor's the same guy anymore. He is a little bit older. He's been very inactive through his prime. No one really knows what to expect now. He, he This isn't Cowboys fighting who was really washed up. This is Dustin Poirier. Yeah, if, he lo if Poirier loses this fight, then I don't know where he goes. But Right now, Dustin Poirier should be a serious threat. And if he comes up with a good game plan, I think he should win. So I'm going to take that risk and bet on that. See, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, make sure you tune into the fights tonight. See if, uh, see if Chandler wins. See if Poirier wins. If not, you're going to have to witness me um, drink some of that friggin' apple juice. Or do a square of that chocolate chili uh, nightmare, chili chocolate nightmare. <laughs> Or, or maybe have to do both. So, yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you watch last week's video with that damn apple juice. Make sure you check out this video here. And tune in next week to see if there's a punishment. And we'll see how things go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. See you next week.